Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to video lecture on OpenCV. Uh, in this video lecture, let's learn about the inbuilt function available in the histogram. In the previous video lecture, we have seen that uh, we have created our own histogram for a grayscale uh, image. In that, we used only one grayscale image, not many other images. But the inbuilt function available for the drawing of histogram in OpenCV can take multiple images and can give you multiple histograms and the histograms could be of one dimensional or multi dimensional too let us see the inbuilt histogram function available for in the open cv so the histogram is available in image processing toolkit and uh, search for the histogram uh, here is the calc hist function uh, this is the inbuilt function uh, which calculates you the histogram before understanding the arguments available in this particular calcist function, let's do some small homework. So imagine uh, you have a RGB color, one particular image, RGB image you have with you and you want to calculate the histogram. Since RGB has three planes, you will get three uh, histograms for each plane. So one is for R planes and one is for G planes and one is for B planes. But you might have interest in knowing the relation between the histograms of R plane and G plane then you can't go with the one dimensional uh, histogram you have to go for a two dimensional histograms so the calcist uh, calculates the histograms for R plane and uh, G plane and it um, automatically creates and two dimensional histograms for this R plane and G plane so in this figure I have created a two dimensional histogram for R plane and G plane and uh, these individual blocks are known as bins so if you are uh, uh, working with a 8 bit image this uh, bin in g plane will be nearly 255 and in this particular r plane will be 255 so you will get a, a total of 255 cross 255 image and each bin corresponds to one intensity that is this particular uh, bin corresponds to zero intensity in g plane and zero intensity in r plane this corresponds to 1 intensity in G plane and 0 intensity in R plane. This corresponds to 2 intensity in G plane and 0 intensity in R plane. Similarly, this corresponds to 255th uh, intensity in G plane and 255th intensity in R plane. So, total number of pins you will get is nothing but 250 divided by 1. 1 is nothing but number of intensity available in one particular bin. You will get 255 bins. But if you are interested in uh, making bins to be uh, consisting of more number of intensities, let us uh, suppose uh, it has this particular bin points to 5 intensities. So you will get nearly 51 bins. 255 divided by 5 will give you 51 bins. So you will get nearly 51 cross 51 bins image. So it means this particular bin points to 0 to 4th intensity in G plane similar to 0 to 4th intensity in R plane. So which, whichever the pixels which are having intensity from 0 to 4 in G and 0 to 4 in R plane are recorded here. The number is stored here. And uh, similarly this particular point the intensity here is uh, 251 to 255 in G plane and uh, 251 to 255 in R plane. The number of pixels which falls in these particular ranges in G plane and R plane are recorded here. Later we can use this particular two dimensional histogram for driving an image. So whichever the bin is having maximum number of pixel counts can give the uh, white color and rest other can give the gray uh, variations. Imagine this pixel, this particular bin is having a highest number of gray pixel counts. So you will give a white image to this particular box that can be done using a rectangle function. And uh, if it is having one less than this particular pixel count, you can give a little uh, lesser white color than this. So in this way you can compare the histograms between uh, two planes of single image. Now let us go back to the calculist function and its arguments. So the first argument is const mat star images. So here star involves it means uh, this must be an array. So it takes multiple images. Uh, this array consists of multiple images so you can send two, three, four multiple images to this particular function it can calculate histograms for those multiple images and this int n image gives you how many images you have sent like if you have sent five images you have to give five here 
and it is nothing but const int channels again it is a pointer for channel so imagine you have send a three images the first image is having three channels second image is having a two channels and third image is having again three channels so you have to send an a pointer to integer uh, array which should have three two three three belongs to first cha images channel and two belongs to second images channel and three belongs to third images channel so you have to send a pointer here and this is input array mask if the uh, pixel data in this particular mask is one only those pixels are considered for calculating the histograms if the data uh, pixel data is zero then those uh, pixels in this particular images are not considered for calculating the histogram you can uh, ignore this by sending null and this is output array his so for this particular images that you have sent it will give you a output of histograms it could be one dimensional or two dimensional it depends on the next variable in dims so if you are sending 2d2 then it means it this particular output will be of two dimensional histograms if you are sending one it will be just one dimensional histograms if the image is three if this is dims is one then you will get three arrays which are of one dimensional uh, histograms if you are sending uh, two here you will get uh, three mats which are of 2d next is const int size this his style size corresponds to number of bins that you wanted uh, it is a pointer so you have to send up integer pointer which points to number of bins we'll see an example for this particular his size then only you can understand and this is ranges like if you are sending an 8-bit image the range will be from 0 to 255 and if you are sending an hsv image for h plane the range will be from 0 to 180 whereas for s plane the range is from 0 to 255 so you have to club those uh, ranges in one particular float variable and that pointer has to send here and next is bool uniform whether you want to calculate the uniform histogram or not and it's for accumulate uh, accumulating the previous values if it is sent false the previous values are not accumulated if you go down a little bit you can see a function available uh, sorry this function is made use in this particular function I copy this function in my uh, visual studio let me run this particular function so this was the input image that I considered and this was the two dimensional histogram and it is HS histogram so this image RGB image is converted to HSV and then the histogram the 2d histogram is calculated for h and s plane so you can see a small small blocks over here which is having different intensities this intensity intensities depends on the number of pixel counts for this particular intensity range so this particular maybe belongs to 0 to 5 or 0 to 6 let us see the program and here you can see the brightest uh, bin so it means if you go, go this way it is uh, since h plane is 0 to 180 this particular intensity range is nearly uh, half of the 180 but 90 or around 100 so around 100 in the sense the color must be a cyan uh, so the intensity is also nearly uh, since the scale is 0 to 255 it is nearly 120s or 130s so cyan color corresponds to this particular portion of the this particular image and this particular image so you can see this bluish cyan color is available and here also you can see a little whitish color and this corresponds to orange because it's nearly 30 degree uh, 30 degree is for uh, yellow but it's between red to yellow or little greater than yellow so that portion is nothing but we can say nearly this one uh, sorry not this one or uh, this one the yellowish color let us see the program how it is made or how it works so here is my program i am declaring two variables source and hsv source will be a rgb image and i am reading it and uh, i am converting it to hsv uh, using cvt color function I'm sending source as input hsv as output and with a proper argument from bgr to hsv now i need to quantize uh, the h planes and s planes since h plane is having uh, values from 0 to 179 that is 180 values are there let me quantize to 30 bins 
it means 180 divided by 30 which gives you 60 so each bins will have values from uh, nearly six values will be there for each bins and for uh, quantizing of s plane will be quantizing it in 32 levels so 255 divided by 32 will give you 8 so 8 values will be there for each bin in s plane and i'm putting these two values in one more array his size uh, which is an integer array and uh, giving it initializing it the uh, values of his size by this hist bin so 30 and 32 will be stored in this particular hist size next i need to create ranges the hue range varies from 0 to 179 and i'm storing it in uh, h ranges and again for uh, s ranges which range from 0 to 255 i'm storing it in uh, s ranges variable both are of float type and i need to create a array of these two floating arrays so the ranges is a array of arrays the h ranges is array s ranges is array and ranges is arrays of arrays and i'm creating an um, variable hist which is of mat nd type it is nothing but n dimensional mat so you can store two dimensional you can store three dimensional you can store n dimensional values in this particular variable and int channels since i'm interested in only s and uh, h channels this zero stands for h channel and this one stands for s channels and using calc hist function i am sending the hsv this is my uh, output of the cvt color and i am sending it as a input to the calculate calc hist and since i am sending only one image i need to send one and i am sending a channel channels are nothing but h and uh, s channels and i am sending nothing uh, this is nothing but a mat empty constructor uh, this is supposed to be our uh, mask I am sending nothing in this mask and next is output where you want to store your histogram I am store I want to store in this particular variable and uh, what should be the dimensionality of that histogram it should be two dimensional because I, I want to draw the relation between H and S plane so it's a two dimensional and the histogram size should be 30 and 32 bins so his size variable is sent over here and ranges what should be the ranges of the intensities so it must be 0 to 7, 179 for h plane and 0 to 255 for s plane and the histogram should be uniform and i am not interested in accumulating the older values so after that you will get a two dimensional histogram which will be stored in the hist variable to draw the histogram i need the maximum value present in this particular hist so it can be uh, got by this particular function min max lock. so it takes an one uh, input and this is zero this is nothing but uh, pointer to a minimum value here it's pointed to a maximum value this is declared over here so uh, whatever the maximum value you will get from this hist will be stored in this particular max value and uh, these are for the locations of minimum value and min locations of maximum value since I'm not interested in the location so you can give zero zeros and once after this execution you will get a maximum value or maximum pixel count for particular bin in this particular variable I'm declaring one more variable in scale which is equal to 10 now it is used for scaling purpose so to draw the histogram I need uh, one more image uh, mat type to make the bins inside that uh, variable the variable i declared is hist image which is of uh, mat type and i initialized by calling a zeros function and i'm uh, the rows and columns must be s bins into scale scale is 10 and s bins is 32 32 into 10 gives you 320 so it's the uh, row the rows and columns are one th uh, 320 and 300 and it is a three three channel uh, the image that you have created now it's completely black because we use a zeros constructor so it initializes this particular uh, sized image along with all the values are now zeros so i needed two for loops one is to run through all the bins 30 bins and uh, 32 s bins and i'm declaring a variable float bin value since i, I had to access the values of each h comma s in hist I needed at function and uh, I'm giving a h comma s as a argument to it 
and I'm interested in uh, accessing the float value of it and I'm storing it in a bin value. Then I need to calculate the intensity, what sort of intensity you want to display in particular bin. So that can be calculated by uh, using bin value into 255 divided by max value. This 255 divided by max value is a factor by which you multiply to all the bins. Imagine your bin value is 0. It means uh, particular that particular HS intensity doesn't have any pixel in your image then the hist at h comma s gives you 0. So if bin value is 0, 0 is multiplied by some number you will get a 0 and when it's rounded its CV round is for uh, rounding and the intensity becomes 0. So it means you are drawing a black bin or black color rectangle in this particular image. If in case the bin value is max value because bin value can't be greater than max value that is the maximum value if the bin value is maximum value maximum value into 255 divided by maximum value so maximum value maximum value get cancels 255 will be there and will be stored in the intensity and that 255 will be drawn on the uh, some uh, using rectangle function in this particular hist image so that particular hist image part becomes a white so to draw the uh, white black to draw the white or black rectangles I needed a rectangle function it takes the this particular image and where do you want to start uh, to draw the rectangle I would like to start it from uh, this particular point h scale and h into scale and y into scale this is one point so if this is a rectangle this becomes h into scale comma y into scale and this becomes h plus 1 scale minus 1 into s plus 1 scale minus 1 so imagine where h is 0 so this and s is also 0 so this becomes 0 comma 0 and this becomes 1 into scale minus 1 1 scale is 10 1 into 10 gives you 10 minus 1 it becomes 9 and similarly this also becomes 9 so you are drawing in a rectangle from 0 comma 0 to 9 comma 9 that is you are drawing a 10 cross 10 uh, image or a rectangle then you need to specify a color that you want to draw using this particular intensity I can draw a rectangle boss and uh, I needed a scalar type to draw the rectangle generally scal scalar will have four values inside it and I am uh, making all the values all the four values to be this particular value and when I am drawing in three channel the first three values of this scalar is used and put inside that rectangle and the way you are filling is CV filled. So this for loops continues to run until unless you run through all the H bins and S bins. So in this way you fill up your all the small small rectangles of the whole image and then you are displaying it on different windows. So this is it about our uh, calc hist function. So you can send multiple images and uh, or else you can send single image and you can get one dimensional uh, histogram too by sending uh, one here and if you require a histogram of all the three channels you have to make this as 0, 1 and also 2 so you can vary the parameters and you can play with this particular calc hist so that's it about this video lecture uh, don't forget to subscribe my video and don't forget to like my videos thank you